Uh, good evening. So as you can see on the screen, Ishray Institute of Excellence and SM Techno is uh, going to offer this training program on Revit MEP, a BIM concept, on 18th of June 2012. So make a note of this uh, date. So let me give the brief idea about this uh, software. So this software is very helpful uh, for the people who are in the field of MEP. And uh, in short, I can call this is a revolutionary software in the market uh, compared to any other software because this software offers all the capabilities and requirement for a MEP uh, engineers or designers or a pro project or site engineer requires. So let me start with this uh, coordination. So Revit MEP is an excellent tool for the coordination. Fine. So maximum people find the problem or maximum people find the problem in the industry because of coordination. And uh, because of different services is uh, drawn in using CAD. So what happened after that is going to be uh, merged in one file and the architect will go for the coordination issues. But uh, it's, it's just a line diagram. So coordination is not that much easy. The architect should go in, in, uh, totally involved in that. So it, even, even though he involved totally, so on site you will find the problem. But this Revit MEP offer the connection between the architect MEP as well as structure. Anything happen, anything change in the architect, that will be immediately updated with the structure and MEP. Or anything happen with the MEP, that will be updated. So each and everything in a uh, coordination or in a uh, link manner. Fine. So in CAD, what we are doing, we are drawing the services in a different file. But in Revit, we are going to use a centralized file and all the services are going to be uh, use the centralized file and work on that. So uh, the coordination is going to be easier, but uh, this is not that much easy. So the concept behind this Revit MEP is a BIM concept. So BIM is nothing but building information modeling. So with that BIM concept, uh, the database is one for all the things. So that's the reason coordination is uh, very helpful. So let me give the, some uh, key points for this software. Uh, you see, first of, uh, first I told uh, the coordination between the service and the sec second thing is operation of the software is parametric. Parametric means the software know what happened or what, I mean, when you change any parameter, what will affect to the other parameter. As you know that if you change uh, the flow rate in the pipe, that will affect to the velocity or that will affect to the pressure drop. So the Revit MEP know about that and automatically it will change the design. So Revit MEP is not only uh, for design, it will give you the easy for drafting, it will give you the installation uh, in an easy manner, even for a uh, non-technical people on site. If he can see that thing easily, he can understand for the installation. So apart from that, you see, the third point, it is a very interesting point for load calculation. So it will directly coordinate uh, with the Google mapping service. So normally, ASHRAE has given the information for a particular city, uh, for a particular city only, not for a particular location or a building. For example, for Hyderabad, the location or the latitude is 17.45. But in, again in Hyderabad, for different locations, suppose Sikh village, and if you compare with the habits, the location or the elevation is different. And because of that, the psychometric condition, the latitude, longitude will affect. So this Google map, with the link of this Google map, you can get the exact information from the mapping, uh, using this mapping service, and that is available in the, uh, this uh, Revit MEP. And the third you see, the supports, the design, drawing, schedules required for the building project. And next, load calculation is a part of that. Fine. And we can go for energy analysis because now all the people are talking about green building and they want to save the energy. So after calculation, we, if you want, you can go for energy analysis on hourly basis. So this is uh, also possible with the uh, Revit, like HAP. Next, you see uh, design, uh, duct and pipe designing. So very easily you can get the duct and pipe designing. The duct sizing software, the pipe sizing software, everything is inbuilt. And auto layout is one of the special feature with this. So I'll give you just, I'll take two minutes and I'll show you this, uh, how it is possible. And most of the people find difficulty for the duct routing and pipe routing. So I'll show you how it is, uh, how the Revit offer the different uh, uh, patterns for duct and pipe routing. See here, already this machine is placed and the diffusers are placed and after that we need to go for logical connection. And after completing the logical connection, I can go for this uh, uh, option and simply uh, when I click this, see here, when I click the solutions, it will offer the first solution. The first solution is simple one. If it is applicable as per site condition, you can adopt or else you can go for next. It will offer the next option. Likewise, as per the condition of site, it will offer 6 to 10 option. 
Fine. So which is applicable or which is best according to your experience, you can decide. So I am for, for example, I am going to decide uh, the first one. So let me show you some options. So these are the possible options available uh, presently with this pattern. And simultaneously, if you see the left side in the 3D option, also you can see. So easily you can understand. There is no chance of confusion even for a beginner. So, for example, as per my experience, the first one is a simple route and when I click finish, automatically the complete thing is converted into dark. And after that, you can go for the sizing very easily by using the sizing tool. You see now, in the 2D uh, view, on the top view, it is available as a duck as well as it is directly highlighted in the 3D. And after that, easily you can go for sizing. So, this is one of the useful tools. But this is not the end. Uh, let, me, uh, let me continue with this. I will not take much time, but uh, this is an important and useful thing. Logical and uh, this physical connections, everything in Revit will have the logical as well as uh, physical connection. So what are the things you are going to see on the screen that will have the reports, that will have the complete uh, data available. Next, index root, index root analysis. So this is also one important and useful feature for Revit because this index root will give you the selection of fan as well as pump. And that is uh, the most important thing. Why? Because maximum projects will have more running cost because of wrong selection of fan and pump. But because of this, this is very helpful. Yes, sir. May I request people who are not interested to leave the place. Please do not make a issue and noise. Yeah, this is because this is a See, new thing and this is dedicated to all. Let us not bugger it up. Yeah, you see the uh, walkthrough visualization. This is also one uh, important feature, especially for the clients, uh, those who want to know after uh, installation what will be the option. So this is also very interesting. Let me show you this uh, walkthrough option. I will take again two minutes uh, to show this one. See, I am going to play this after completion of the ducting, piping and all this thing, plot room. You can go for this easily walk through, we can enter into the site and we can see what are the things available in or what will be the actual thing after uh, completion. So this is also very interesting. You see, we are entering into the building. So as well as not only MEP site, we can get the complete other services with the structure, with the architectural thing. Now you see the install, one age is installed on the top of this. And this AHU will have this uh, piping and is connected and it's, uh, we have one more AHU. Then slowly we are going to move into the plant room. There you will find one uh, boiler as well as pumps. So likewise for a client or for uh, people, uh, even for non-technical people who are in this field to show that on site or uh, at the time of initialization of uh, uh, things, this is a very good option. Fine. So Revit is not just offered the technical thing, it will also have the good options with the, for the vi uh, with the visualization. Fine. So it's like a virtual building, what we are doing. And virtual building is not only just for uh, visibility, it is having all the properties. For example, if I select this boiler, the capacitor boiler, the properties of boiler you can see. If you select the pipe, you can see all this option. Orange duct, it will show you the flow rate, velocity, etc. Even if you select a diffuser, it will give you the option. And not only this is the end, even the text also having link with the ribbon. And if I change the duct size as per the client requirement or as per the coordination issues, automatically the text also modify or, uh, as per the size change. So everything is interlinked. If you do one thing, what will, be, what will be the effect to the other things automatically will update. So no need to go for, for example, if you are doing with a CAD, in CAD if you change something uh, with the section, then you need to update at the same time you need to update the plan also or plan means we need to update the section but in Revit it's like an actual thing for example if I cut this uh, this mic so automatically the top view dia will differ and the side view length will uh, will change the, in the same way the Revit will have because in the Revit we are not going to create the uh, draw the things we are going to create the things virtually fine so this is a walkthrough option Yeah. So apart from that, you can create the session view in very in seconds. In AutoCAD, it will take minimum 15 minutes to 20 minutes for expert to go for a section for a issue. But in this, only you need to cut because already things are available in a practical way. And apart from that, plumbing and firefighting design, you can do load load calculation, power calculation for ethical, as well as for design detailing and documentation, which is required on site to get the detailing. So like in uh, CAD, we are doing the detailing. That is also possible with this. Fine. So. Let me give the training details. 
So the requirement to learn this, the basic uh, idea or basic uh, thing for designing and uh, the course is uh, 2012 Revit MVP, the new version we are offering and the duration is 30 days, 2 hours per day and 7 to 9 pm and the course material will provide soft copy uh, to make the things somewhat green, uh, saving the paper. Next you see, course fee is very, uh, very less. Why? Because this is a society. It's not, it's not a company or say not a commercial thing. It's a non-profitable organization. So we are offering only 5,000. In market, the people are charging 10,000 or up to 20,000 to learn this one. And uh, the venue, you know, that is Ishre. So all the people belong to Ishre. So you know the office. So the course is going to conduct at uh, Ishre office only. And for further options, uh, one more important thing about the system configuration. So this software will offer all this thing, all this capability. So you need to uh, spend some uh, extra amount for your system. So the RAM or uh, the processor 2G4 nowadays is common. RAM also 2GB is common but recommended 4GB. For learning point of view, no issue, you will not, will not find any issue with this configuration. And the hard disk 5GB is nothing. We have 1TB uh, or 2TB option. Next, for communication, uh, you can call to uh, this uh, this numbers, and for technical information, you can get this uh, information. Okay, so this is all. So I hope uh, this in, this is interesting, and this is a new thing. So and this will save lot of time and uh, the initial cost and everything in a visualized way and in a technical way. Not only just visualize like a 3D Max. In 3D Max, we have only option for visualization, but here we have the visualization as well as the complete technical things. So what we are doing in Revit, we are doing like a uh, virtual thing uh, or else when you design means you are installing on site, fine. So this is all about uh, this uh, brief idea. So hope uh, I think this is interesting for you. So make a note of that uh, date, it is going to start from Monday, 18th uh, June at Asia office. So those who are interested can register there. Fine, thank you. Thank you Mr. Ali. I request Mr. Dejay Singh uh, to give a small moment to Mr. Ali. Imran, this uh, program is a, is a not a draft thing and uh, it is at uh, uh, very nominal and throw throw away prices. Uh, I request uh, maximum people to take an advantage and our capacity is only 20 people and uh, if uh, people who are uh, left over can register for uh, this will be continued throughout the year. Thank you uh, for, uh, taking, uh, for taking this initiative. Thank you very much and I, I especially Mr. Chandrasekhar. <laughs> Sir, I request... Uh...